does he show you picture and you write to it? Do you show him music and he gives you a vibe? What was the working relationship like for you to develop all that music? We would just take parts of the story, you know, a section at a time. And I mentioned the Tolkien uh, archive because Tolkien was just putting one foot in front of the other as he wrote the story. And we were doing the same thing, you know, and I, I use the analogy of holding up a lantern in the dark, like, you know, we'd get lost and then I'd, I'd hold the lantern up and I'd say, Peter, this way. And then he'd hold it and he'd say, Howard, go, you know, off to the left. And so we kind of went through the story scene by scene like that mm. and just, you know, worked out the details of it in, in, uh, in a lot of, actually in a lot of detail. And even though we were so far away, we worked, I went to New Zealand quite often um, and we worked on the internet hmm. you know we were able to say i was able to send him to send him demos and he could comment on them he could see them to picture hmm. sometimes they were very simple but it was a way for him to uh react to it and you got to remember that this period in my life was inter it was an interesting period because i was i had done a lot of movies at this point i'm not sure how many i mean maybe maybe 60 films. At I'm this looking. Point. I mean, I'm I was just... very experienced, maybe even more than that. Yeah. So I was very experienced in a way with film, uh, you know, and how to use music and film. But my back, a lot of my background was with Cronenberg, which was not to, to be telling the audience hardly anything. I mean, it was, uh, you know, working around the sides of the screen and, and the subtext and, and not really uh, trying to tell the, you know, the clarity of the story was not what we did in David's films when working with David's films. Uh, now, but here with Lord of the Rings, the most, one of the most complex fantasy worlds probably ever created, maybe people hadn't seen, uh, hadn't read the book who were seeing the film. Who are these people? How do they differ? How, wh how, why are these elves different than the Lothlorien elves and the Rivendell elves? Or these men are different than these men? So the music became thematic as a way to express clarity to tell the story. So that became the overriding way. But using themes and motifs in Lord of the Rings, there's over 100 of them. I hardly did that, use that technique up until that particular uh, writing. Yeah, but I realized early on that you had to tell the clear, you had to focus on the clarity of the storytelling. That's so interesting that you had no real thematic experience. And then you do the, arguably the biggest series right. of themes. <laughs> like not only, it wasn't so much that I didn't have the experience, but it was like, I avoided it. 